Here in the USC Biomechanics Research Lab, we study how people move in their everyday lives. And we look at what their capacity is to move and how they interact with the world around them. And our goal is to improve performance and mitigate the risk of injury. So one of the really exciting projects we have going on in the lab right now is using biomechanics to understand dance mechanics. I was really interested in uncovering how dancers use their bodies to turn from a mechanical perspective. My dissertation focuses on how we accomplish single turns, double turns, or triple turns. So the typical data collection included having the dancer come in. We put electrodes on her skin that monitor her muscle recruitment. After that, we put motion capture reflective markers on key anatomical points of her body. Finally, we had her move on the force plates, so we were able to measure how she interacts with the environment and how she moves all together. It's very fun to have a camera from above. So you can see actually how each leg is contributing to the turn. We have side cameras that can slow down the movement at high speed, and that allows us to see kind of where the balance points are in the task itself. Having dancers and athletes participate in the science can not only help improve their performance, but also provide a really hands-on and unique way to learn different physics concepts or anatomy concepts. One of the opportunities here at USC is the Human Movement Sciences minor. And this allows a person with any background to take a few extra courses in a particular area. And this includes learning about the musculoskeletal anatomy, also about the nutrition and metabolism, which is really providing the fuel for the muscles to do their job, and also the biomechanics. And so by having this concentrated set of courses in the form of a minor, it allows people from all different disciplines to learn a little bit more about how people move.